What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT and need to get 12 and 0 done, make sure to head up my second sponsor, Rose NBA, on Twitter for a quick, fast, and reliable purchase. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K20 MyT video. And guys, today, we're going to talk about the market. We're going to talk about some snipe filters, pretty much just some empty methods and stuff for you guys. Uh, we're going to go everything in this video. Before we get into it, make sure to drop that follow on Twitter for some MT giveaways. And obviously, if you guys want to buy MT on Xbox, I got a million coins left. So hit me up on Xbox. The prices are $20 per 100K. No less, no nothing. And I and you buy the cards first. So um, no, what's it called? You give me the money first. I don't want to hear no BS, scam BS, bro. I have 7K on YouTube. No excuses. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Um, here we go. So... One thing I realized, one really good snipe filter I've been actually using is this snipe filter right here. Um, the Spotlight Sim has been really interesting to look at. These are pink diamonds that are really good and really good to use because of their like buyout range within the bid and the buyout. Um, a lot of people do throw up these snipes. Like a lot of people throw up these snipes. So I was honestly sitting on this filter and it's been pretty money. There's been a lot of movement on it because there is, I think, the other Lance Stevenson, all the other pink diamonds are still in packs. So we're actually going to go over this filter a little bit. As you can see, Spencer Dinwiddie's already at 60K, which is pretty cheap because he's a really tall point guard at 6'6". Now, I've been wondering, actually, if you guys remember my video, I said sell all cards right now. Honestly, I was thinking, um, I'm probably going to go 12-0 and with a budget team. I came to the conclusion that my Opal team is not, you can't really verse any, like since it's obviously a stacked Opal squad, if I verse a team that's better than mine with a really all Opal squad, I lose. So with that being said, I'm going to sell every Opal I have because obviously, bro, it's coming to end game. There's going to be better cars than these. Um, I'm probably going to sell my Ben Simmons, my KD, my Carmelo, my Giannis because it's only a matter of time before other Giannis comes out and destroys the game so that's my predictions we shall see if that goes down um it's gonna happen so i'm gonna sell my team i'm just gonna grind a little bit i'm just gonna keep my mt there and honestly just hope for the best yo i'm probably gonna have around 3 million mt just sitting here so we shall see but yo this snipe filter right here first off if you want to pay attention to tyler harrell because he's not even a buyout i have him on my squad and he's actually really expensive. This night filter obviously needs to be strategically. And also, not only that, a lot of these cards do not pop up on the filter for some odd reason. I don't know why, but if you look up their name, their filter doesn't pop up, which means some kids will throw them up for cheaper. And I realize that. Another really good one you should look at is Kevin Knox on the Knicks because 2K stupid and didn't add him to his name. So if you look up Kevin Knox... What's Kevin Knox? Is he a small forward? This Frank is actually really good. He's a 6'6 point guard. Um, This car is going to be also really good to snipe. Honestly, I would go Spotlight, Sim, Diamond, Knicks, and just keep refreshing. This is a really good snipe filter, obviously, bro. There's a lot of potential on this snipe filter. It's honestly going to be a lot easier to snipe on this filter. First off, we got the Frank Nilicantina. I don't even know how to say his name, bro. Every time I say his name, my throat, my mouth is just off. Um... Here we go. Let's see if we can get to it. He's probably really cheap. All right. So we got Frank. And I heard Kevin Knox, since nobody knows his price, he was going off for dirt cheap. And people were picking off for the low and selling him later. So we're about to find out what's good with that. Um, one of my subs, shout out to you. I forgot who the hell you are. But Kevin Knox, he said he was getting a ton of Kevin Knox for 12K, selling up for 20K. And I believe him because he's not on the filter. If you look up his name, he's not there. So I would recommend refreshing right where I am where you could see some Franks and you could probably get some Kevin Knox's. So right here is about the price I'll go to. Definitely try out the filter. It should work. Honestly, I'm taking his word because it makes sense. Um, that's filter. That's a pretty fi fire filter. And um, yeah, so 
another thing I've been let, let's let's just go over this so why do I say run a budget squad so first off if you have a good team you're not gonna verse you're gonna verse the biggest sweats at this stage of the game okay um you should honestly sell your whole team because like I said everything new is coming out um something new is going to come out and whatever it is if you guys remember as the days go on bro opal prices drop and i just want to just tell you guys this taco is over 250 prices continue to drop there's a ton of opal point guards for 200k there's opal centers for 200k dirk was selling dirk is selling for 140 we got jamal crawford about to sell for 200 so what I've been doing, what I've been honestly Elling on, is Galaxy Opal Snipe Filter. Yo, if you guys want to hop on this filter, I don't know the method. Um, People were asking me how to snipe. Here it is, bro. You literally just go like this. You got to be mega quick because I honestly sniped out one and I've missed about 15. You got to be patient. You got to be quick. Don't ask me any other ways how to snipe. This is the way. Now... Since Galaxy Opals continue to drop, I have honestly all the rare Galaxy Opals. Now, would I sell Mellow? If you think about it, this Mellow isn't as good as you think. Like, yeah, he's good. Not gonna lie. But, he obviously has a lot of rarity because he has the set for, what is he? Is he in the Dwight Howard or the Carl? I think he's in the Carlity Town set. We got the KD going up and down constantly. He was at 380. He was at 470. Now he's at like 400. So, these cards right here might be the rare cards same with the simmons but let's say they drop something op these cards plummet in value so i don't know what to do even though they do have sick value from the set we shall see what i'm gonna do we're gonna see how i'm gonna approach this i don't know we'll take it by year but uh yeah right now man definitely try out the spotlight sim filter players i would look out for bro ja Morant, obviously i say j.a moran and get you guys pissed and i love it um j Morant is it just sounds cool i don't know um we got the new justice winslow he's a hype beast right now this card is supposedly so good i don't see it bro these cards are just trying to stop Giannis and all them they're not gonna stop Giannis, bro Giannis is gonna blow by past them shoot all over them dunk all over them that card is not good enough whatsoever but yo if you sell this filter long enough and you do your scrolling by position or whatever however you make this work i promise you you can make a hundred thousand mt this filter right here it's going to be very quick. It's going to be very competitive. You just got to be patient. If you get a Tyler Hero for around 80K, 100K, it's going to dub out. And you also have to remember, bro, Tyler Hero is not on the game. Like, if you look up his name, he's not there. So people might throw up a Tyler Hero on perp on uh, on accident for, like, really cheap. And honestly, we're going to pull a Galaxy Oval in this pack for you guys. Just watch. Watch this, bro. Watch. All right. No, we're going to pull a bronze. All righty. So we got the Spotlight Snipe Filter. We got that. Um, also, bro, if you didn't listen to me, you didn't sell your current series too. Well, yeah, um, there was a method where you can make tons and tons of MT from current series too, but it has actually has been destroyed because they released Spotlight Sims in those. So now those are destroyed. These current series too, it's probably a really good time to get your tokens up and get your MT. Um, honestly, you can get your tokens up, you get the free Opal. There probably will never be another token market update. We got that big one. 2K probably gave up on us trying to get their money back. But yeah, um, that is really all I got for the video. Other than that, man, I'm just going to recommend and say, sell your cards. Make sure to watch Galaxy Opals. Watch the pricing of Galaxy Opals. There's only a matter of time before some of it's a buyout. And when it's a buyout, we're all toast. There's nothing we can do about it. Once their buyout, those Galaxy Opals are going to drop. Once that one person reaches buyout, which I believe is going to be Caruso, because in my opinion, that card is trash. Once he reaches buyout, we're going to see a plummet in the market. We're going to see a ton of things drop. And it's really going to destroy us as a community. Because once he goes, uh, op once the Opal, first Opal goes to a buyout, like consistently with like five up there. Um... People will follow. They'll put up AI for cheap. It might be a good time to snipe during then. But other than that, it's kind of the danger route. Once that happens, everything kind of comes crashing down. But yeah, honestly, that's all I got for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Honestly, just stay on the spotlight filter. Let me know how it is. Obviously, the opal filter. And make sure to sell cards. But yeah, hope you guys did enjoy. We're going to have new content predictions right after this. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.